The time is 6.05. Welcome to Menina Valley High School Gymnasium, just outside of Castro, Texas, where we have District 28-5A Varsity Volleyball action for you tonight, where the Panthers of Medina Valley will be hosting the Dragons of Southwest. This broadcast is sponsored by North Park Chevrolet here in Castroville. I'm Dwayne Garza, and seated beside me is the owner of Medina Valley Broadcast Network, Jeff Stivers. We'll be bringing this match to you live via the internet, streaming through KMAX Sports. A big hello and thank you to Brendan back at the KMAX studios in Austin, Texas for producing this broadcast for us. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome Panther fans. Our first ever volleyball presentation and we're... Uh, Jeff, this will be our inaugural volleyball broadcast so everyone out there bear with us. This is all new to us. We've broadcasted baseball, softball and football so far but this is a first for us and so we hope we do a decent job bringing you the action tonight. How hard can it be, Dwayne? We're in a loud gymnasium. We're sitting right to the right of our student section that usually gets rowdy. Uh, we've got a loudspeaker system going on, and we've got a big volleyball matchup coming up right about now. This is uh, the second and third place teams in the district, if, am I correct? It, that's correct. Um, right now, Jeff, Medina Valley comes into this match with a 24-6 and overall record. They're nine and one, and they have a nine and one district record right now. They've won six district games in a row. Their overall winning percentage is 800 right now. Southwest comes into the match, 21 and 14 overall, with an 8-3 district record. However, their, their their three losses are to Medina Valley, Harlan, and Southside. The last time they got together, Medina Valley won the last match three sets to two. It was a very very close, hard fought match. All three sets. We're very close, very exciting. It was over in Southwest. They had a great crowd. We had a great crowd. And it looks like we're going to have a great crowd here tonight. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to get started here probably a little earlier than, than, than usual, but it's already filling up. The, uh, the Medina Valley side is, is you're, you're having to look for seats right now. The Southwest side is probably about half, half full, but we're going to have a great, loud crowd. There's no football tonight, so hopefully we have a lot of big presence watching the stream tonight. And uh, I know we're going to have a big presence here in the stands. And Dwayne, you really can't tell a tell a fib tonight because we've got video. We do have video. We have video for the volleyball game, and according to UIL rules, as we've probably talked about before, you cannot do a Friday night football game. Nothing says you can't video a Friday night volleyball game or a Tuesday night volleyball so, game. So every opportunity we have to video, we are going to video. One other thing I'd like to point out is that the coaches have to mutually agree according to UIL rules. So some nights we may get there and only have an audio broadcast when we plan video. Doesn't happen very often, but sometimes we might. But uh, we're, we're thankful right now that the Southwest, uh, uh, Pete Wagner, the uh, athletic director at Southwest ISD has approved video for all the volleyball matches. So. Yeah, it's great to have video. Otherwise, I don't know if this broadcast would be possible. I know volleyball, it, it, it's gonna be tough enough enough for us to broadcast it and call the game without and without video it'd be even tougher I don't know that we could do it especially since we're pretty green at this but yeah I'm glad that we have the video I know the video is probably not going to be the best it's just going to be a stationary uh, frame shot throughout the uh, throughout the match but um, it'll help quite a bit and give you guys out there an understanding of what's going on and and what we're trying to explain to you guys Absolutely. and what we're going to try to do too also tonight is is um, we're going to take a little bit of a learning approach you know um, if, if They'll, there's some terminology in volleyball that typically not used to. I was not used to, so I had to do some studying, and I've been watching a lot of games since my daughter plays. So uh, we'll try to explain what's going on because there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, questions on how the game is played because uh, um, I know a lot of people aren't real familiar with it. Yeah, Dwayne, why don't you go ahead, Dwayne, real quick, and uh, talk about some of the players, the key contributors on the well, Medina real Valley quick. Team. Let's go. Let's talk a little bit about our district standings right now. In first place with an 11-0 district record is is Harlan. Harlan is is a new school that you're familiar with. They're out on 471. Is that right, Jeff? Yes. That's that's that brand new school out on 471 on Claber Road out towards San Antonio. And they've uh, uh, they've their expectations were not so high, at least I didn't think so, but they're in first place. They're doing a really, really good job. Their overall record is 23 and 12 and they're 11 and 0 in district. So they've got the the, they're in the top tier right now for the district standings. However, they're followed by us. We have a 9-1 district record. I only, our only loss, obviously, is to Harlan. So we've got that big matchup coming up next week, and we'll hope to bring you that live also. Um, then Medina Valley is followed by Southwest. 
So Southwest is third in the district. They have an eight and three district record. And their overall record is 21 and 14. So your top three teams are Harlan, Medina Valley, and Southwest. And they'll be followed by Southside, who has, who's holding right now the number four spot with a six and five record, district record. And they're followed by Floresville at four and five. So the fourth place spot is really up for grabs between Southside and, and Southwest, I'm sorry, and Floresville. So this is a, not only a, a big match for us, but this is a big match for Southwest too, if they want to keep their standings in, in, the, in the playoff hunt. Absolutely. And, you know, we're just not looking, as of right now with a 9-1 district record, Jeff, we're just not looking for a playoff spot. We're looking for the district championship. That's very possible. You know, when we were up against Harlan last time, we had two of our key players down. Uh, they were injured, so we, we played them with not a full tank of gas. So well, that's think, going to be I a big matchup next one, week. One was injured prior to. That's right. And then one got injured. After in the, the first set. After the first set. So we match, played so. them the, the last four sets without her. So that, and, and we almost won that. So it's going to be a really good match against them coming up next week. But we've got to make sure and don't look ahead and take, and care, take care of business. business what we have right now. Absolutely. So being said that, if you're ready for a quick commercial break, Jeff, we'll oh take Oh, no, a we're going to keep on rolling, okay. man. We're going to wait. They're going to go national anthem here in about a minute or so with introductions and everything. So uh, Well, let's talk about Southwest a little bit. You know, Southwest, to me, is considered a rivalry. I mean, we've been playing Southwest as far as I can remember, even back in the 80s. They, they've, this is the first year they've ever been in our district, but we've always had them on our schedule at one point or another, even when I was going to high school back here in the 80s. So, the, you know, they, nothing's new. I mean, we, we've been playing them for years, and, and just, just like the Hondo rivalry, we, we want to win, and it doesn't care what the records are. We want to beat these guys. Yeah, I think uh, personally, Dwayne, um, you know, I haven't been involved in many Southwest matches since I was in high school. We played Southwest, and when we were a 3A school, they became a 5A. Right. And at that time, we were the only 3A school that would actually play a 5A in football or any other and sport. And we would beat them a lot. And we beat them. We lost to them one year, and that was when they had Ty Detmer, and we should have beat them that year. Um, but what I will say is this is a and should be a budding rivalry for years to come. We should be in the same district. We're right down the road from each other. And uh, I think at the lower levels, our JV won today in volleyball. They did. Um, I think, uh, you know. They won two sets right. to zero. I think we need to. And both the of them are very close. So we need, They need to be in our football district yeah. or, you know, I know they're big school, little school kind of deal going on. They're actually big school in football. But in spring sports and every other sport, they're going to be in our district. And I think that's going to be great for everybody. So now, Dwayne, with that being said, they're about to start introductions here, and they're going to uh, do the national anthem and stuff, so we can go ahead and go to a break. Let's take a break, and we'll okay. come back and hopefully get you into some action. All right, this is the North Park Chevrolet broadcast of Medina Valley Volleyball. We'll be right back. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Here at Medina Valley Broadcast Network, we love all sports. We currently broadcast football, volleyball, basketball, softball, and baseball. We not only serve Medina Valley, we also can broadcast other schools in the area in multiple sports. If your business is interested in having us broadcast a single game or a season, and you want to be part of the action, contact Jeff Stivers at 830-931-4504 or email him at jeff at mvbn.net. At North Park Chevrolet in Casterville, we offer the most exceptional experience in sales and service. Shop our large new and pre-owned selection with complimentary maintenance on new vehicles, upfront posted pricing, 10-day trade-in appraisal guarantee, and a 48-hour return policy. Our factory trained technicians will take care of you after the sale with easy menu pricing, courtesy vehicles, and a complimentary car wash with every service. Come see us at 1955 Highway 90 East or call 210-640-3184. Shop us online or schedule service at npchevy.com. Experience Chevrolet, the North Parkway. Headed out to the game? Then make a stop at your local Valley Mart convenience store. With 12 area locations, Valley Mart is always right around the corner. Fuel yourself and your vehicle with quality branded gas and diesel, snacks, and fountain drinks. Always convenient, well lit, with clean restrooms. Valley Mart, family owned and operated since 1984 and a proud supporter of Medina Valley Athletics and area youth sports for over 30 years. Security State Bank has one simple goal, to be the best bank possible to the families and businesses of South Texas. We believe in superior customer service, active community involvement, 
fair and honest business ethics and loyalty. We've been in Castorville for a year now, and we've enjoyed growing with you. Come by 1726 Highway 90 East or call us at 830-538-9898. A real person will answer because that's how we do business with common courtesy and uncommon service. Bank online at securitystbk.com. Security State Bank, South Texas. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. From the time our alarm clock rings in the morning to when we turn the lights off at night, electricity plays an important role in our lives. But most of the time, we don't even think about it. And you don't have to, because the employees at Medina Electric Cooperative are behind the scenes making sure you get reliable, affordable electricity delivered to your house or business. Your cooperative is here for you, and we have been since 1938. Connect with Medina Electric on Facebook, Twitter, or at MedinaEC.org. Visit MVBN.net for great articles on all your favorite coaches, players, and more at MVBN.net, the official website of the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Double T Outfitters offers deer, duck, turkey, quail, and exotic hunts in southwest Texas on over 20,000 low-fenced acres. They facilitate professional guide services, lodging, and fantastic meals while providing the best in southwest hunting. Contact Double T Outfitters to find out details about their current package hunts. Contact owner Brett Ferguson at 210-413-1597 or online at DoubleTHunting.com. Qualifications, rules, and limitations apply. Rates, rewards, and restrictions may vary by account. Contact institution for details. Tickets, popcorn, and sodas. That'll be $35. Cash or debit? Debit! I mean, I'd like to use my debit card, please. Uh, Can I do it? Okay. All right! Swiping now! What if paying with your debit card was always this exciting? Kasasa Cashback is a free checking account that pays you for everyday debit card purchases every month you qualify. Plus, with ATM withdrawal fee refunds nationwide, that's a lot of extra cash to spend on whatever you like. Ask for free Kasasa checking at Community National Bank. Member FDIC. Nobody can design, create, or maintain your lawn better than 3D Landscaping and Irrigation. With over 17 years of experience, owner Ray Doyan and his crew take pride in their craftsmanship and service. They're fully insured, offer free estimates, and multiple references, so you know you're getting the best. 3D does landscaping, lawn maintenance, irrigation, tree installation, lighting, and more. Whether it's residential or commercial, 3D Landscaping and Irrigation has you covered. Give 3D a call at 830-985-9115 or find us online at threedlandscaping.com. Medina Valley Pediatrics is the only pediatric clinic in Medina Valley for kids from birth to 21. From sick to well care, ADHD treatment, sports physicals and immunizations, same day appointments and 24 hours a day by phone for after hours emergencies. Most major commercial insurances and Medicaid accepted. Medina Valley Pediatrics, 1028 Country Lane in Castroville. Call 830-355-2732, mv-pediatrics.com. MVBN. Welcome back to Medina Valley High School Gym. We have a District 25, 28-5A matchup between Medina Valley Panthers and the Southwest Dragons. We just got finished our national anthem and the lineups for both teams. Now we're getting ready to start. Teams are in their huddles getting ready to break. We got a lot of electricity in the air for this and it's a very playoff type atmosphere, Jeff. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hadn't uh, been able to get over here to see a game yet this year, but I've heard a lot of great things about uh, about the team and about how well they're playing this year after a rough year last year. But, uh, you know, we've got the Cameron Griggs, who got player of the week of the area, you know, a couple weeks ago. And we got uh, uh, the Madison Gates, who is a uh, senior this year, correct? Or she That's correct. She's a senior. She's a senior. So we've got, you know, Christine Sherhart, who's also a senior. They're all playing real well from what I hear, and I'm uh, looking forward to watching them play as we're about to get rolling. All right, on the floor now for the Panthers will be in the middle, number two, Madison, number, sorry, number five, Madison Gates. Outside hitter, number 12, is going to be Taylor DeWitt. On the other outside hitting right now will be number eight, Cameron Griggs. All right, Cameron also... Yeah, so Cameron will be outside. Cameron will be setting also. On the floor also, number four, Spencer McCool. Spencer is a freshman from Medina Valley. And the libero for the Panthers is number seven, Christine Sherhart. 
Outside hitter also was, is Tan Hannah Hurtado. Nice. Right away, Panthers receive, set up, and a kill right away from Madison Gates. This is going to go fast, guys. Panthers will serve. Spencer McCool behind the line. Float serve by McCool. Received by Southwest. Set up, hit on the outside. Dug out by the little barrel. Christine Sherhart. Another hit by Hannah Hurtado. Hannah made a great swing and killed the ball. Right away, Panthers go up 2-0 on the Dragons. And guys, right away, if I say something, I really don't know what I'm talking about, So, but I'm going to try to make it sound like I do with this volleyball match. McCool with the serve again. Another floater to the back row. Set up by the Dragons. A swing and a hit that gets into the net. Point Panthers. It was a nice set, but they just hit it into the net. I want to remind everybody too, Dwayne, while we're in between right now. I'll, I'll wait until the next dead ball. But I got a, got a reminder about playoffs, the P word. McCool with the serve, set up by the Dragons. Tip ball is blocked by Madison Gates. Blocked and, and fell back down on the Dragon side. Point Panthers, another kill for Gates. Okay, so in the playoffs, if the Panthers win tonight, I believe they clinch a playoff spot, and we're going to have playoff packages available. We'd love to hear from you and love for you to sponsor some playoff games. That'd be great if we get some sponsors for girls volleyball, Jeff. Another serve by McCool, set up by the Dragons, hit, received by McCool, set up by Griggs. Another hit by Hurtado. Goes off the rafters on the opposite side, and it falls short of the net. Going to get a timeout. Point Panthers. Dragons will call a quick timeout. So right away, Panthers go quick uh, up quick on the Dragons, 5-0. to zero. And, you know, while we're taking the time out here, Dwayne, I'm going to kind of explain how our packages are going to work uh, when we do start the playoffs with volleyball. We will have a package available that you can sponsor timeouts. Timeouts for the home team, timeouts for the uh, visiting team. So, uh, obviously, right now, this would be a uh, uh, your business's name, timeout for the Southwest Dragons, and we'll take a break and we'll come right back. But we will have all kinds of different packages available for you. And if any businesses or individuals are interested in sponsoring uh, some so uh, volleyball playoffs, uh, we will you be know, emailing those out. These girls, are, I think, are going to go deep into the playoffs, Jeff. So it would be a great idea you guys can come on board and, and, and sponsor, help sponsor these, these games for us. So you guys at home can keep watching. Absolutely. And we do have currently have our regular season sponsors who we are recognizing tonight. And we'd like to, throughout the broadcast, thank North Park Chevrolet for being our title sponsor for all the uh, athletic events in the fall this, this year. All right, they're out of their timeout. McCool is back behind the service line. She's going to get ready to serve again. Serve to the back middle, set up by the Dragons. Hit, received by Griggs. Double hit. Oh, into the net. What? Madison oh, Gates was called for being in the net. So the Dragons get their first point, and they will serve. Back to serve is their libero, which is number two, Nadi Nad Nadia Chavez. Oh, I'm glad you have their list. I didn't get their roster. Chavez with the serve. Little jump serve. Looked like it might have been heading out, Dwayne. Set up and a push over the net by Gates or another kill. And that uh, that serve looked like it was going out, but you know, it I was guess close. when you're right there yeah. on the line, you know, I think Hannah did the correct job That's of exactly right. passing it back into play. So Panthers up six to one. Gates behind the line, ready to serve for the Panthers. Serve goes to the back row. Received the set up. The hit goes off the block. Madison, Griggs on the set. Hurtado with the hit. Great save by the Dragons. Set up by Griggs again. And a push by Megan Hahn. Received by McCool. Griggs yeah. with that push. And that's why Cameron Griggs was the player of the week yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that's a great job by Griggs. So what, what what, what's, happening, what's happening is the Dragons were expecting her to set it up for, an, for one of the hitters, and she just slid it across the net for an easy, an easy score. So Gates back to serve again. Panthers up 7-1. to one. Set up for Dragons, a hit. Nice dig by McCool. Set up by Griggs. A hit by Taylor DeWitt. That's out. And it's out. 
That ball goes deep. Panthers get another point. Eight to one, Medina Valley. You know, Gates did a good job there. She was protecting the back line, and she knew where she was on the floor. Great job by Gates letting that one go. Gates to serve again. Serve to the back row. Quick set. Blocked by Taylor DeWitt. Panthers with another point. Nice block by Taylor. We had two blockers that went up in the air there. Hahn and DeWitt. DeWitt put it back down on the opposite side for another point. Gates for another serve. To the back row. Pushed over by the Dragons. And Hahn was waiting right there for it. She Couldn't get it, it over, she, Megan. She just pushed it right back, and it found the spot on the floor. Panthers jump on there with a massive 10 to 1 lead right now. This is not how the last matches went against them. I'm glad we're, we're, up, we're up quick. Nice serve by Gates. Hit by the Dragons in the back row. Set up by Griggs. Oh. Okay. Hit, by, hit by Megan. Goes a little long. Point goes to the Dragons. So that's a 10 2 score right now. Advantage the Panthers. You know, and I think in volleyball, such as any other sport, that's an unforced error. You know, if you can limit the unforced errors in volleyball, you're going to take care of yourself. To the libero back in for the Panthers, which is Christine Sherhart, served by the Dragons. Set up by the Dragons. Free ball over the net. Set up by Griggs. Hahn pushes it over. Big hit by the Dragons, blocked, but it went down Number on the 14. Panthers side. Number 14 with the kill. Number 14 I'm on the other team. It's Madison Stout. Madison Stout. Number five serving again, which is Sadie Belen Ballesteros. Received by nice the Libero. Nice back set. Received by McCool. Set up by Griggs. She pushed it back over the net. Dragons are there this time. A double call yeah. on Hurtado. You know, in that situation right there, you probably should pull it back out, reset your offense, you know, and they got into a little back and forth, bumping it over the uh, over the net, you know, and, and we got caught with the double hit. Ballesteros with the serve again. Received by McCool. Set by Griggs. A little rough on that one, but it got it down. Nice, out. nice hit by DeWitt, but it just outside the line for the ball, the ball went out. So real quick. Dragons with a few points. Scored now 10 to 5. Need to break that serve. Ballesteros with the serve again. Catches the top of the net, the tape. Great dig by the Panthers. Kill it. There you go. That was, uh, Dragons, Dragons could not handle that one. They ended up being four. Got four a hits. sub. We got a sub in. New setter going in. Also serving is number two, Madeline Sanchez. Madeline will be taking over the setting duties now. And Cameron Griggs will now be a hitter. Sanchez with the serve. Nice serve to the back row. Set up by the Dragons. Nice hit by Dragons, but dug out great by, by Shrewhart. Come right Set back. up. Another kill for Hurtado. What a great play by great Christine play by the, Shurhart. Great play by the Panthers all the way around. All the way around, absolutely. But that initial pass right there, bump and pass by Christine Shurhart, started that off, and, and uh, Hannah Hurtado was able it's to three polish kills it off. for Hurtado. Sanchez with the serve. Received by the Dragons. They're going to set it up. Outside hitter takes the oh, swing at it, and one. it falls just short of Christine Shurhart. So score now 12-6. Favor of the Panthers. Now serving for the Dragons, number six, Marisa Blanquis. It's a floater. It's not going to quite reach the net. Service error for the Dragons, and Point Panthers. She will hear it from the student body for that. So. Yep. Score now 13 to six, Medina Valley. That will bring Hannah Hurtado to the service line. And with a serve to the back row. Dug out by the Dragons. Nice hit by the Dragons. Great dig by Christine Shrewhart. Griggs with a swing and the hit. Dug out by the Dragons. Another attempt by Griggs. Great dig by the Dragons again. 
That ball is just going to get outside of Christine Strillhart. Nice volley between the two teams right there. That point's going to go to the Dragons. 13 to 7 in favor of Medina Valley. Now serving number eight, Caitlin Letty for the Dragons. Serves on the way. Set up by Sanchez, hit by McCool, but blocked by the Dragons. Set up quickly by the Panthers. Tell you what, Dwayne, it might be a time for a timeout here, and I yeah. think that's what Coach Griggs. Nope. No, not quite yet. Not quite, but uh, the, so the, the energy is definitely on the, the side of the green right, right now. Yeah. So right and, now, uh, score 13 to six Southwest. They're moving around a lot better than the Panthers are right now. We need to settle back down and, and, and get a kill right here. Letty with the serve again for the Dragons. Received by McCool. Set up by Sanchez. A swing by McCool. Dragons quickly set it up with a big swing and a hit by the Dragons. Scores them another there point. There it is. I knew a timeout would be so coming pretty quick, but we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break, Dwayne. Okay, we're getting ready to take a commercial break. Our score now is 13 to 9. Still a million dollars favor. We'll be right back after these messages. MVBN. Vibe Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vibe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at vibevipetexas.com and also pick up your Vibe magazine today. Get in the game with Vibe Media. Peerless Equipment, your South Texas irrigation experts. Peerless Equipment specializes in sales and service of irrigation equipment to the agricultural and wildlife industries. This includes hose reels, big guns, pivot systems, Systems, underground pipelines, turbine well pumps, booster pumps, motors, valves, and an inventory of much more. Stop by one of their locations in Hondo and Pearsall or give them a call at 210-434-7867. Peerless Equipment, bringing water to you. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. 13-9 is the score. First set in favor of Medina Valley. Served by the Dragons, received by Hurtado. Pushed over the net by Sanchez. Tip by the Dragons. Griggs with a swing just into the net, though. Nice setup, a nice swing by Griggs. He just happened to be into the net. Point Dragons, new score, meeting about a 13, Southwest 10. Dragons on the serve again. Letty still holding the serve. Ball hit to the back row. Received by Hurtado, set up. Push the roll, hit push over the net by McCool. Set up by Sanchez again. Griggs with the swing. That ball. Whoa, what a what a play by the Dragons. They're calling a double on the Dragons. Didn't quite catch that. I think they're saying it was four hits. And uh, number 11 was trying to say she didn't touch it, but ne she did. Nevertheless, Point Panthers, 14-10. That was a good break. Sure hard with that the one. serve to the back row, received by the Dragons. Set up, swing from the right side, received by Sherhart. Sanchez setting it up. Gates with a little push over the net. Set up by the Dragons. Free ball over the net. Set up by Sanchez. A swing by Griggs. Block. Big block by number 12, Juliano Ramos of the Dragons. Tell you what, Medina Valley looks a little discombobulated, you know, with this lineup they have on the floor right now. 14-11 in favor of the Panthers still. Number one, Hanover Stuff serving for the Dragons. Nice serve of the net, received by Sherhart, set up by Sanchez. Another swing by Griggs. Blocked Damn. by the Dragons. She hit that one right into the net. Did you go into the net? timing's off. And she knows it. She's, you know, she's hard, hardest girl on herself that I know. She's, she knows what she's doing wrong, and she'll get it fixed. Dragons on the serve again. Our score 14 to 12, still in favor of the Panthers. Dragons, however, are catching up quick. Received by Griggs. Free ball over the net by Sanchez. Dragons set it up. Big hit by the middle hitter of the Dragons, number five, Sadie Balestro, Balesteros. So just like that, from a 10-1 score, we now 14-13. 
Received by Shrewhart, set up by Sanchez. Hit by Gates, dug out by the Dragons. Cross court hit by the Dragons, nobody there. So Jeff, we have a tie ball game. First set, yep. tie ball game. Hit it where they ain't, that's we, what they're doing. And we got a Coach we Griggs. timeout. Coach Griggs is gonna call another timeout and talk about this for a little bit. Still in the first set, 14-14 tie. And this is kind of how the first match against the Dragons went, Jeff. It was back and forth all five sets. It looks like the, this is going to turn out to be the same. Yep. Hopefully we can catch on fire like we did at the beginning of this set where we went on a roll. They just got to get it together. I think they'll be all right. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. You know, the I think with this rally scoring that they've started several years ago, you know, it's a game of momentum. You know, it, they're going to have their runs, and we're going to have our runs, and it's just going to be who's going to have the, the best run. Dragons out of their timeout. Panthers are still holding it up. Panthers stick with the same girls on the floor. Gates, Sanchez, McCool, Griggs, Shearhart, and Hurtado. Dragons will have a serve. Received by Griggs. Sanchez is going to set it up. Swinging hit by Gates. Received. Dug out by the Dragons. Hit. Blocked by Gates. Set up by Sanchez. Griggs with a hit and off the fingertips of one of the Dragon front. Cameron had a had a good hit there, but uh, she had a good set as well. Uh, one thing Southwest is doing well, Dwayne, is they're they're making us work for all those. Yep. There's not a ball that's going untouched right now. Second kill for Griggs. She will be on the service line now. Floater over the net to the back row. Set up by the Dragons. Big hit by the Dragons, but received, dug out by Griggs. Mccool it's with the tip. swing, but it hit the antenna. Once it hits that antenna, oh, it, hit it is antenna. out. I thought it hit them. There's antenna on both sides. Once it hits one of those, it's, it's automatically called out. Yep. So point in favor of the Dragons. We have the 15-15 set going on here. Dragons with the serve. Martinez. You see by Hurtado. Free ball over the net by Gates. Set up by the Dragons. Big hit by the Dragons. Those free balls are making it too easy for Southwest. Went to the back row. Got to have good passes. Number five again, Sadie Ballesteros with the kill. Dragons with the serve again. Dragons just took the lead. 16-15 in favor of the Dragons. Serve received by Hurtado. Set up by Griggs. Hit by Gates. The hit went off the tape of the net. Brought back over by Dragons. Back over again by the Panthers. Great dig by, by Sherhart. Two-handed push by Griggs in the back row, but they were, they were there. for that time. There's a free, comes a free shot. Free ball, now. go back over the net. Uh-oh. It's a little miscommunication there. That that ball is, is supposed to be the setter's ball, but she can't, couldn't get there. If she needs help like that, Jeff, she needs, she needs to call for help. Otherwise, they just get out of the way, and that's kind of yeah, tough. They, they kind of tough to they see. They were in between, and that, that goes with, you know, playing with each other, you know, and knowing each other. Serve again by the Dragons. Off the arms of, of uh, Sherhart, goes into the bleachers. That's going to be point Dragons. So Dragons, real quick, take a three-point lead, 18 to 15. Martinez with the serve still. Received by McCool, set up by Griggs. Little push, push better. tip over the net you by know, Gates, and they knew that nobody was there. They were not expecting that. Dwayne, I don't know how the communication is down on the floor right now because I'm not down there and I can't hear them. But you know, when we used to play beach volleyball all the time, you were always calling out different things. They do. They when talk. they would go out to hit, you know, somebody's looking at the other side. Yeah, they should be tell talking them where to hit. There. Well, cool with the serve. Float serves. Dug out by the Dragons. Big hit by the Dragons. Great dig by Christine uh, Shearhart. Uh, she almost threw that one over. Push back over. Nice save by Shearhart. Going back to Hit her. by Gates. Back over. They're going to call under the net on the Panthers. Apparently one of the Panthers went under the net. Uh, so Taylor DeWitt. Pa 
point goes to the Dragons. 19-16 in favor of the Dragons now. With Libero back to serve. That's number two, Chavez. Received by Sherhart. Briggs with a set. Hurtado with the swing to the back row. Received by the Dragons. Big hit by number eight. The Dragons scores a point. Kagan and Letty with a big swing and a kill. This is not looking good, Dwayne. We're two points away from losing the first match after being up. They go to 25. To one. Oh, they, they go to 20, They go to 25. 25. Yeah. Libero back on the service line again. Well, Chavez. We need a break pretty quick. Panthers need to break the serve. Set up by Griggs. Tried to push it over the net. But actually, Gates actually pushed it into the net. Uh, Cameron so was a little short on her, on her set that time. Unforced error by the Panthers. 21-16 score now in favor of the Dragons. Served by the libero. Received by Sherhart. Out. Griggs tried to be sneaky and just tipped that over, but it was just out. So point to Dragons, 22-16. Chavez still serving for the Dragons. See by Hurtado. Set by Griggs. Big hit by Hannah. Big swing. Kill for Hurtado. It's a big break there. They need to run off they about five that. now. Four kills for Hurtado this first set. 22-17 now. Gates behind the service line. Served to the back row, received by the Dragons. Big swing by the Dragons, received by Griggs. Great dig. Taylor with the swing to the net. Blocked, though, by the Dragons. You know, I, I know Point I said Dragons. earlier, I don't really know a lot about it, but it we're, looks like we're making it easy on the Southwest initial passes. And, uh, They're doing everything right, and we're struggling right now. Yep. 23-17 is the score now. Served by the Dragons. Received by McCool. And see there nice. That's what, that's what Cameron was trying to do earlier. But that a tight, pass was well, into the, the net. It was, it was a very tight pass you know, into the net. That's what I'm saying. Southwest did a great pass, job. They're really getting it to their setter, and their setter's doing a good job of getting the ball up to the net. Sanchez. And we got to do some of the same. Sanchez back to serve for the Panthers. 23-18 is our score. Served at oh, the back that row. Like it, that looked like Just it did barely. Off Sanchez with the setup. Big swing by Hurtado to the back That's row. Okay. That's going to be in for a point. Nice swing and kill for Hurtado. 23-19. Panthers are coming back. Sanchez with a serve again for the Panthers. Service on its way, received by the Dragons. Big swing by the Dragons, and it just barely made it inside the light, inside the line. Cross court kill for the Dragons. 24 to 19, set point for the Dragons. Now serving for the Dragons, number six, Blanquis. Received by McCool. Sanchez is going to set it up. Free ball over the net. Big swing by the Dragons for set point. So Dragons take the first set, 25 to 19. We will go on. They will play. You can, it's three out of five. You can play up to five sets. We're going to go on to set two. We'll switch sides. Panthers will be on the left side. Dragons will be on the right side. We're going to take a break, Dwayne. We'll go to a commercial break for come back for set two. You're listening to Medina Valley Panther Volleyball. Vibe Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vibe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vibe, V-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vibe magazine today. Get in the game with Vibe Media. Sammy's Restaurant and Havy's Alsatian Bakery, two legendary landmarks in Castroville. From breakfast to delicious hometown lunch specials and more, Sammy's satisfies your taste buds with the unique flavor of Castroville. And from fresh baked breads to pies and pastries, South Texans have made Habe's Alsatian Bakery a must to visit since 1940. Sammy's Restaurant, online at sammysrestaurant.com. Habe's Alsatian Bakery, online at habesbakery.com.
MVBN. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball here at Medina Valley in the gymnasium here. Southwest Dragons just took the first set 25 to 19. We're getting ready to start set two here shortly. Uh, Panthers, you know, they, 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 they took a 10 to one lead and they, they kind of fell fat on their feet a little bit. And, and uh, you know, Jeff, I think they were expecting Southwest to roll over and they didn't do it. Panthers in their huddle right now. Coach Griggs talking to them, getting them kind of motivated for this set two we have coming up. Sorry, Dwayne, were you talking to me? We've got some <laughs> fans. We're sitting up here in the bleachers, and there's fans. We're on the top row us. of the gym just sitting up here. We don't have a table or anything. We're kind of working as we go. Um, we'll get it all figured out hopefully before long. But if you just joined us, we're in. Um, we're getting ready to start set two of a match between the Southwest Dragons and the Medina Valley Panthers. And the gym's gotten a lot quiet now. Yeah, let's has. talk about a few things about that first match. Number one, Medina Valley came out on fire. They were doing everything right. They were passing well. They were getting the ball to the net. They were hammering it home. Everything was well. But then Southwest kind of went on a little run, and we kind of got out of rhythm a little bit. And, you know, uh, Coach Griggs made a couple of substitutions, and those substitutions, when, when they had to move around, there were, you know, there were some mistakes that were being made that were um, self, self-made mistakes. Yeah. I mean, we didn't, you know, but then Southwest took advantage of those mistakes, and they started rolling, and, you know, it's a game of momentum. Yeah, we did make some mistakes that first set. Hopefully they can... They can fix that this second set because this is going to be a crucial set right here. They need to win this one. So Panthers put on the floor. DeWitt, Gates, McCool, Hurtado, Schuhart, and Griggs. Schuhart just goes in as a libero. And Manita Valley will serve first here. Cameron Griggs behind the service line. And it looks like we're getting ready to start set two. Griggs with a serve. To the back row. Set up by the Dragon. Three ball over the net. McCool with the receive. Set up by Griggs. Pushed to the back by Gates. It's out though, but I thought maybe it was tipped. I guess not. So first point goes to the Dragons and they will now serve. Number 11, Martinez serving for the Dragons. Servers on the way to the back row, received by Schuhart. Gonna be set up by Griggs. Big hit by Gates, brought back over by the Dragons. They're gonna try to set it up again. This time McCool's gonna take a swing at it. Blocked by number 16 and brought back over. Set up by Schuhart. DeWitt with a little push over the net. Set up by the Dragons. Big swing and a hit and off the blocking hands of the Panthers. So the point will go back to the Dragons. So real quick, Dragons up 2-0 on the Panthers. Martinez with the serve again. Serve on the way, but it's going to be out. Outside the sideline. Panthers get a point. Panthers will now serve. That's a good unforced error there. Take them as you, when you can get them. Spencer McCool, the freshman, now serving for the Panthers. Serve to the back row. Set up by the Dragons. Big hit by the Dragons. Nice dig by McCool. Just out of reach of DeWitt. So point Dragons. Score now three to one. Serving for the Dragons is going to be the libero, number two, Nadia Chavez. Chavez with the serve. To the back row, received by Sherhart. Griggs with a setup. Pushed to the back row by Gates. Was not received well. Kind of shanked it off the back row, and point will go to the Panthers. 3 2 score now. Gates will get behind the service line.
Gates with the serve. Nice serve dug out by the Libero Dragons. Big hit by the Dragons. Grace could not get to it in time. Point will go to the Dragons. Gates will come out. Libero back in. 4-2 now are scored in favor of the Dragons. Number five for the Dragons. Ballesteros with the serve. Received by the Panthers. Hit by Hahn. Nice hit by Hahn. Just happened to find a hole in the court there and it fell right to the hardwood. Point Panthers. Southwest up by one, four to three. Gates will come in in the standard rotation. DeWitt will come out. Sanchez will be now be your setter. She's also behind the service line. Served by Sanchez to the back row. Set up by the Dragons. Big hit by the Dragons. Dug out by Christine Sherhart. Swing by Hannah Hartado, but blocked by the front row of the Dragons. Dragons will get the point. 5-3 in favor of Southwest. Number six, Bunkies now for the serving for the Dragons. Serve to the back row, Panthers let it go and it will be out, point Panthers. Just about 18 inches long on that serve. Score now, four Medina Valley, five Dragons. Hurtado behind the service line for the serve. Serve to the back row. Nice serve, an ace for Hurtado. I believe that's the first ace of the match. And it belongs to Hannah Hurtado, at least for the Panthers. Hurtado with the serve again. That serve is going to be out. And I believe that's our first service error, too, of the match. At least for the Panthers. Serving for the Dragons, number eight, Letty. Serve to the back row. McCool received it, and it went a little too tight to the net, but just fortunately enough, it just went over the net, and it went straight to the floor. So point Panthers. The libero, Christine Sherhart, now serving for the Panthers. Serve to the back row. Nice dig by the Dragons. Set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Gates. They called it out. And uh, I, think I don't know if they're going to. They, they, they called, they called it a tip. tip off the Dragons well, before it went out. But now they're, they're going to discuss it. Big swing by Gates. It went off the top tape of the net. And the, um, the referee. As the Dragon player went up to block it, he's saying that it tipped off his finger, her fingers before it went out to the near side. So they're discussing that. We'll let them figure it out. They're saying she did not tip it, so they changed the call. It will be point now for Dragons. Coach Griggs asking for clarification. Point will go to the Dragons, 7-6 in their favor. Number one serving, Hannah Verstuff for the Dragons. I think you got the wrong numbers. That don't look like Hannah Verstuff. <laughs> Did you get that off of Max Preps? Yeah. yeah. Big swing and kill by Madison Gates. Nice play by the Panthers. Good receive, good setup, and a good swing for the point. DeWitt back in, Sanchez back out. Normal rotation for the Panthers. Griggs behind the service line, ready to serve again. We have a 7-7 tie. Floater to the back that's row. That's a good serve there. Yep, that's a double hit. How'd you miss that? She hit it off her head. <laughs> Great serve by Griggs. We're going to give her an ace for that. She couldn't get it up. Serve by Griggs, set up by the Dragons. Nice dig by Griggs, set up by Sherhart. Swing by the lefty, received by Dragons. They're setting up a little tip over the net by the Dragons and it falls in for the point. 
There's that communication piece again. That's a tough one because you're not expecting that tip. Yeah, you're expecting them to hit the ball and it just didn't happen. Right. So you go back to an 8-8 to eight tie now. One of those girls is responsible for that, you know, and I don't know in the Martinez. game of volleyball which one it is. Martinez serving now for the Dragons. Into the net for a service error. We'll take those all day long. Point Panthers. Panthers now take the lead, 9-8. to eight. Spencer McCool back to serve for the Panthers. Received by the Dragons, set up. Little tip attempt, but they missed it. They missed the tip. Point will go to the Panthers. We'll take those unforced errors all day long also. I mean, we gave Absolutely. them quite a few that last set, so we Absolutely. might as well take advantage and we can get them. McCool back to serve again. Get them on their heels. Serve to the back row. Dragons will set it up. Big swing dug out by Sherhart. Hurtado with the swing and the kill. Point Panthers. Panthers rolling a little bit with a score. Now score now 11 to 8. Dragons will now take a timeout and talk things talk their things over now. So Panthers on a little bit of roll right now. We're going to take a quick break while we have a timeout here. We'll Panther volleyball will return after this mess. Every team knows that the two-point play can be a winning move. That's why State Farm agent Hazel Russell and her team are here to help you go for two by combining your home and auto insurance. It's a great call that saves you time and money. So go for the win and score savings by combining your home and auto. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Hazel Russell at 830-931-3441 today. Or stop by her office at 1103 Highway 90 West in Castroville. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. Just out of the timeout, Panthers to have the lead, 11 to eight in the second set. McCool back to serve again. To the short back row, set up by the Dragons. Nice hit by the Dragons, but Doug got nice by Shuhart. I'm sorry, by Griggs. Hit by DeWitt for the kill. Great set up and a hit by DeWitt on the outside for the kill for the point for the Panthers. Panthers now take the lead, 12 to eight. So that's a kill for DeWitt. McCool still the service line. I think this is a fourth to fifth serve now. Panthers are rallying right now. A little serve to Barrett. He clears the net. Hit hard by the Dragons, but blocked by Gates. Pushed back over the net by the Dragons. Set up by Griggs. Big swing by Gates, but dug out by the libero of the Dragons. Christine with a great serve and dig. Nice play by Shuhart. Another swing by DeWitt. Dug out by the Dragons. Free ball over the net. Received by Shuhart of the Panthers. Griggs will set it up. Another good swing by Gates. Dug out by the Dragons. Panthers setting it up. Hurtado with a swing over the net. Free ball back over Dragons to the Panthers. Set up by Griggs. She pushed it back over. This should be a kill right here. Oh, oh and we missed the tip. There's communication. That's just timing. The timing was oh. off there. Nice series of volleys there by both teams. Point, Absolutely. however, goes to the Dragons. Score now 12 to 9 in favor of the Panthers. Starting for the Dragons now, the libero, Nadia Chavez. Received by Hurtado. Ah. Four hits by the Panthers. Actually, it was three. There's no point in going for the four. Point goes to the Dragons. Score now 12 to 10 in favor of the Panthers. Chavez for the serve again. Oh, oh hits the tape of the net and just rolls over the net for an ace for the Dragons. You know, I've those are tough. One thing they are doing though, they're targeting Hannah Hurtado. She's got they to, will she's do that. Got to, she's got to break the serve and, and get it to get it get it to her setter. 12-11 now in favor of the Panthers. Chavez on the serve again. There it goes again. A floater to the back row that is uh, out. Service perfect. error by the Dragons. Works for us. Libero comes out. Han goes into the front row. 
Gates will be at your service line now. Received and set up by the Dragons. Little tip. Oh, she went Received over the by line. McCool. Big swing by DeWitt, but it's blocked by the Dragons. Falls back on the Panther side, so they will get the point. You know, Dwayne, I, I, I've always wondered about volleyball referees and kind of they just call sometimes what they, you know, what they feel like calling. There were several times there the Southwest players were under yeah. the net and across the line and nothing was called. Malastero to the serve for the Dragons. Pushed over the net by Hurtado, set up by the Dragons. Big That's block never. by Hahn. Great block by Hahn. Panthers get the point. Rotation changes. DeWitt comes out. Madeline Sanchez goes in for the serve. Our score 14 to 12 in favor of Medina Valley. Sanchez with the serve. To the back row, received by the Dragons. A set in a swing. That ball is out though. Big swing by the Dragons, but it goes, no, they're calling a tip. I didn't see the tip. We're gonna have to talk about this, I believe. Nope, no talk, no discussion. They didn't like that at all. I don't think anyone in this gym liked that. As of right now, the point goes to the Dragons. Did not see the tip. A lot of judgment going, judgmental calls going on here. Nevertheless, point stays on the Dragon side. Ballesteto still with the serve. Received by Griggs, set up by Sanchez. Swing, big swing by Hahn for the kill. There you go. That's Point a good Panthers. Answer. Good way to respond by the Panthers. 15-13 now is a score in favor of the Panthers. Hurtado now behind the service line. Served to the back row. Set up by the Dragons. A swing. Nice dig. Griggs with the free ball of the net. Received by the Dragons. Oh, they're set up. Swing, just big swing by the Dragons. Finds the inside corner. The back corner, no one was there. So point for the Dragons. 15-14 favor of the Panthers. Letty back to serve for the Dragons. Received by McCool. Sanchez is going to set it. Tip. A tip by Hahn. And I believe they're calling in the net, I believe, on the Dragons. So point goes to Panthers. Nevertheless, it hit the floor. I'm not sure. He put up a 2 and a yeah. 0, and I don't see a 2 0. Served by Sherhart. That's long. Goes back, and it's going to be long for a service error. Another unforced error. That is correct. Got a sub there, 12 in for one. Or sorry, one in for 12 on the Southwest. Dragons team. making a substitution. Score 16-15 in favor of the Panthers. Received by Griggs. Sanchez setting it up for Griggs, who gives the free ball over the net. Set up making by the Dragons. Easy again. Ooh, bad set. Big hit by Gates. It hits the top of the net, but rolls over into the front corner for the point. Sometimes you got to have a little luck, Jeff. Yep, absolutely. Going, Panthers doing their rotation change. Sanchez comes out, and you know, goes back into the front row. The Panthers went quick at him. You know, they didn't give him a chance to set up their defense on that, that last shot. Griggs behind the service line. Nice serve to the back corner. Dwayne. They didn't They didn't know who was going to take it. So. Dwayne, that's what you call a swing completito. <laughs> that's what you call a swing and a miss. A swing and a miss, a completito. All that, right, we're going to take a break. That's another ace by Griggs, and we're going to take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout here also. Panther Volleyball will be back after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. 
Weather in South Texas is unpredictable. That's why our neighbors in Medina Valley trust Four Winds Air Conditioning and Heating for residential and commercial service. Four Winds provides maintenance, repairs, equipment upgrades, and heat load calculations for new construction design and installation. Four Winds offers financing on anything over $300. Family owned and operated since 2006. Four Winds Heating and Air Conditioning. Call 210-892-2925 or on the web at number 4windsacandheat.com. MVBN. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball here in Medina Valley in the gymnasium. Panthers lead 18 to 15 in the second set. Both teams coming out of the time timeout. Dwayne, I want to go ahead and recognize, uh, let everybody know that we do have a new computer, and I brought some. I tried to download and upload as much of the stuff as I could, but I, for some reason, the Castroville State Bank promo is not working. And they're but a big I want sponsor of ours. To know yeah. The Castroville State Bank is one of our sponsors, and we appreciate everything they do for us. Grig with a serve, received by Dragons. Hit from the outside. Nice. Set up for McCool oh, with a push it. tip over the end, over the net. Dragons returned it and found an yep. open spot on the floor. Griggs made a great effort trying yeah, to pancake right that there, ball. Right there, Dwayne, though, uh, number 12, DeWitt, had a great opportunity. It was a great set, and she her timing was off, and she had a great opportunity to hammer one home. And, uh, you know, I don't think you can miss on opportunities like that. In a way, that's an unforced error. There it is again. There it is, another unforced error. She's, DeWitt pushed it into the net. She's struggling. She'll get her, she'll get her wits about her. Our score now 18-17 in favor of the Panthers. Martinez now serving on her second serve of this for the for the Dragons of this rotation. Set up by Griggs. Big hit by Gates, but it goes outside. Panthers are we're asking for a tip, but I guess they're not going to get the call. So we're going to go to another timeout. Panthers call timeout now. Coach Griggs is going to talk to the girls. We got a tie ball game at 18-18. And we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be back with Panther Volleyball in just a few minutes. MVBN. Here at Medina Valley Broadcast Network, we love all sports. We currently broadcast football, volleyball, basketball, softball, and baseball. We not only serve Medina Valley, we also can broadcast other schools in the area in multiple sports. If your business is interested in having us broadcast a single game or a season, and you want to be part of the action, contact Jeff Stivers at 830-931-4504 or email him at jeff at mvbn.net. Follow us on Twitter at MVBroadnet. Tweet and retweet scores, schedules, and more. Tweet at MVBroadnet for MVBN. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We're coming out of a timeout. We have an 18-18 tie in the second set. A lot of electricity flowing right now. It's getting loud in here. Dragons on the serve. Set up. Hit by Gates, it just goes long. So just like that, the Dragons take the lead, 19-18. Dragons back for the serve. Martinez on the serve. Received by McCool. It's going to be set up by Griggs. Swing and a kill by McCool, but I believe that one was tipped. No, it wasn't. They're going to call it out with no tip. So right away, Griggs with a... Coach Griggs with a quick timeout. So we're going to take a timeout also. So we'll be back to Panther Volleyball after these messages. MVBN. Sometimes it seems like banks try to make things too complex. At Broadway Bank, they're removing the complications and offering services some other institutions won't, like the all-new Broadway Bank free checking. Open it on your mobile phone in as little as 90 seconds. It's fast, easy, digital, and free. Discover the all-new free checking and other ways they're innovating local banking by visiting Broadway Bank at 1006 North Fiorella Street or call 830-538-9023. Free checking subject to approval. Conditions and restrictions apply. MVBN. Panther Volleyball is back. Panthers coming out of another quick timeout. They're behind, they're trailing by two, 20 to 18. Panthers need to get a rally soon here, or right now they need to start a rally in order to salvage this second set. They're down one set already, and they're behind in this set, 20 to 18. Martinez with a serve for the Dragons. 
Received by Hurtado. Griggs with a set. Two-handed push by Gates. It finds a hole in the floor. Point Panthers. So Panthers now within one, 19 to 20. Spencer McCool now with the serve for the Panthers. That's going to be a service error. She didn't catch all that ball on the swing, and it went right into the net. So an unforced error for the Panthers. For a score, 21-19 in favor of the Dragons. Libero for the Dragons back to serve. Nice serve. Panthers dig it out. Two-handed push by the Panthers, but blocked by the Dragons, and it's going to find a spot on the floor. So now Panthers find themselves bound down by two again, 22 to 19. And Dwayne, this this is a must win right here. Chavez so, you back know, you to go serve. Down, you go down two games. Chavez back to serve again for the Dragons. Dug out by Sherhart. Set up. And a nice swing by Gates, but dug out by the Dragons. And they take a big swing, and that ball's going to be out. So the Panthers will pick up a point there. Our score now 22 to 20. Panthers need to make a run right here. Gates behind the service line. Received by the Dragons. Set up, it's gonna be a swing. Nice, nice block. block. Great block by Han and Hurtado on the left side over there. Panthers will pick up a point. Now they're only one point down, 22 to 21. Gates still serving at the line for the Panthers. Received by the Dragons. Quick swing by the Panthers. Oh, that was. Gates lets that one go in the back row. And the back line judge called it in. And we got half of the stands here just flustered over that call, thinking that was out by a mile. That was a crazy call. Sorry, I yelled into the. Uh, well, I'm I mean, still getting it, used to this, point. but that was a terrible call. Panthers this down late in the now game, two. 23 21. A little justice there for the Panthers. Oh. As Ballesteros hits one long on the serve and it goes out. What's the old saying, Dwayne? Ball don't lie. <laughs> Ball don't lie. Chavez behind the service line out for the Panthers. And that's going to be a service area out on the far side. Unforced error. So 24 to 22, we have a set point now for the Dragons. Well, the Stettos with the serve again. There's that Blanquise now. Blanquise with the six. serve, received by Sherhart. Two ball over the net by Griggs, received by the Dragons. Big swing by the Dragons, dug out by McCool. Set. Swing by Hurtado into the net, and that's going to be set two for the Dragons. Uh, you know, we're not going to go to a commercial just yet, Dwayne, but, you know, that, that call by that official, that affected the outcome of this game simply because it allowed them to get within two points. I'll tell you right now, Coach Griggs is letting that referee have it right now. That was clearly out, and they didn't check with anyone. Well, I mean, that the, uh, the the head referee can overrule a line judge he can, at any he time. He can overrule. And that was an obvious blown call. Dwayne, it hit in the black, I believe. So a white ball hitting in the black area, <laughs> you should be able to see that. Well, that one hurt, and that's going to put the Panthers down two sets to none. And this is huge, Dwayne. You go down, I mean, if you lose this match, it basically takes you out of the district championship hunt. Well, we'll start needing some help if that happens. That's right. And the way Harlan's playing, you know, you never know. Well, guess, Panthers can roll off three. They've done it before. They can roll off three sets here in a row. Absolutely. And come out of this victorious. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. Panther Volleyball will return after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. 
At North Park Chevrolet in Casterville, we offer the most exceptional experience in sales and service. Shop our large new and pre-owned selection with complimentary maintenance on new vehicles, upfront posted pricing, 10-day trade-in appraisal guarantee, and a 48-hour return policy. Our factory-trained technicians will take care of you after the sale with easy menu pricing, courtesy vehicles, and a complimentary car wash with every service. Come see us at 1955 Highway 90 East or call 210-640-3184. Shop us online or schedule service at npchevy.com. Experience Chevrolet, the North Park way. Headed out to the game? Then make a stop at your local Valley Mart convenience store. With 12 area locations, Valley Mart is always right around the corner. Fuel yourself and your vehicle with quality branded gas and diesel, snacks, and fountain drinks. Always convenient, well lit, with clean restrooms. Valley Mart, family owned and operated since 1984 and a proud supporter of Medina Valley Athletics and area youth sports for over 30 years. M-V-B-N. Well, welcome back, Panther Volleyball. We've completed two sets, both in favor of the Dragons. Panthers are going to have to rally here in order to win this match. they got to win three in a row in order to take this. You're going to have to try to play some error-free volleyball yeah, from here uh, on out. Uh, you know, Several of the mistakes have been unforced errors. You know, we talked a little bit about at the beginning of the game. You know, you've got to take it to them. You can't sit back and, and, and allow yourself to make mistakes. you got to play with confidence. And right now the Panthers are not. Look at their hands are on their hips. They're not. They're just their body language shows is telling the other team that they're not confident right now. They're going to have to find it. And they're going to have to find it early in this match, Dwayne, to uh, try to get to within one match of Southwest. Panthers are going to put on the floor their typical starting lineup. DeWitt, Gates, McCool, Griggs, Schuhart, and Hurtado. I'd like to also uh, throw a shout out to all of our sponsors and make sure QRC Health Mart in Casterville. Go by and see Derek and crew over there. They just remodeled and they've opened up the front area, uh, which used to be the old uh, uh, Lowe's supermarket. Go by and see Derek and them at QRC Health Mart. And that's not a good start, Dwayne. No, it's not a good start. Number 11, Martinez with the ace, the kind of split the two back row girls and kind of baffled them. Neither one took the ball, so that's going to be an ace and a point for the Dragons. Senior and a freshman. Shouldn't shouldn't have that kind of mistake. McCool with the receive. Hurtado, or that's DeWitt. DeWitt with a swing, but that ball is going to be out. It's going to be long. So that's going to be point number two for the Dragons. Martinez still behind the service line for the Dragons. Service received by Sherhart. Big swing by Gates for the kill. That's what the Panthers needed. They need a little momentum. They need to get some emotion going. I think they need to feed Gates. Feed Gates the ball. Get her the ball while she can be in the middle right there. She can be a she can be a determining factor in this third match. McCool now serving for the Panthers. Panthers are on your right side now. They switch sides. Dragons are on the left. Received by the Dragons. Nice Big block. swing oh, and blocked by the front row. The ball. <laughs> wow. Another big swing by Gates. Dug out by the Dragons. Double-handed tip. Back over by Gates. Big swing again by the Dragons. Dug out by Griggs. Shearhart setting it up for DeWitt. DeWitt with off-speed hit. Nice volley here. Let's go in for the kill now, Panthers. Gates with a free ball over. Set up by the Dragons. Tip by the Dragons. Finds the floor. So Dragons quickly go up on the Panthers. 3-1 in set number three. It's not the the, uh, start that the Panthers were hoping for. They can still have plenty of time to turn it around. Chavez now back to serve. For the Dragons. Received by Hurtado. Set up. Big swing by Gates. Blocked. Pushed back over by the Dragons. Got to keep feeding Gates. Hurtado up for the hit. She tried to push it over. It didn't clear the net. I I think it's clear when you're in this set right here that you've got to keep feeding the one that's getting you the, you know, getting you the hits. I mean, she's not going to get every one. They'll start keying in on her a little bit more defensively, but Gates has got to see the ball. Chavez with a float serve that falls short in the front row. They weren't expecting that, and that's going to fall for an ace and another point for the Dragons. 
So the Panthers quickly call timeout in set number three, down five to one. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and take a quick break, and we're going to hear from QRC uh, Health Martin, Derek, and the guys, okay? Panther Wayne? Volleyball will return right after this message. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. QRC Health Mart Pharmacy is the pharmacy for Castroville. QRC Health Mart Pharmacy has an experienced staff with over 20 years of patient care, offering a full-service pharmacy for all of your prescription, specialty, diabetic, and over-the-counter needs, including free blood pressure monitoring and a convenient drive through Most major insurance companies and plans accepted. Open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 1 on Saturday. QRC Health Mart Pharmacy, here to stay. 408 Highway 90 West in Castroville. MVBN. Welcome, welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We're coming out of a timeout. Nina Valley down to five to one in the third set. Panthers got to go to work here and try to make up some ground. Can't afford to lose this third set. This would be the final set if they, if they do. The libero for the Dragons behind the service line. That's still Chavez. She's still serving for the Dragons. Received by Sherhart. Griggs is going to set it for Hurtado. Hurtado with a big swing. And that's going to go in for the kill. Great swing and hit by Hurtado for the kill. Yeah, Panthers needed that one. Rotation change for the Panthers. Libero comes out, which is Sherhart. In is now Hahn. Megan Hahn in the front row. Gates will now be behind the service line. Received. Set up by the Dragons. Received by Gates, set up by Griggs. Another swing by Hurtado. Dug out by the Dragons. Big swing by the Dragons. Just out of reach of Gates, so that's going to be point for the Dragons. A score now 6-2 to two in favor of the Dragons. That's going to bring Ballesteros back behind the line for the Dragons. Received by McCool in the back row. Set up by Griggs and a big swing by Hurtado. I don't know if that was blocked or into the net. Either way, it fell Panther side for the point for the Dragons. 7-2 now is your score. Balestero still serving for the Dragons. Received by Sherhart, set up by Griggs. Swing by Hahn, hits the tape. Hits the tape, could not be returned by the Dragons, and that's going to fall for a point for the Panthers. Rotation change for the Panthers. DeWitt will come out. Coming in to serve now off the bench is number 10, Olivia Garza. Who is that? Olivia Garza. Here we go. Don't, don't jinx her. Here we go. Garza for the serve now for the Panthers. Received by the Dragons. Nice serve. Set up in a swing. Nice receive by McCool, nice digs. Set up for Hurtado, she can use a two-handed push to get it over the net. Set up by the Dragons. A swing, received by Garza. Set up by Smith, uh, by Sherhart. Free get, ball over the net. Who's the setter in this, Dwayne? We haven't got it's gonna to be the great. setter yet. And that ball is going to be returned by the Dragons, but it's going to be out on the, in favor of the Panthers. So, point Panthers, so now is 7-4. Panther lead, or Panthers behind 7-4. Yards are behind the service line. She's going to serve again. Let's try to run a few off here. Short serve by Garza. Returned. And returned by the Dragons. It was a deep return, but just inside the, the back line for a point for the Dragons. Uh, so Garza she, will, she caught everybody off guard by that. You know, they were, they were standing flat-footed and just caught them off guard. Garza will come back out after the serve, and that's, she's going to be replaced by Sanchez. The setter, she will not be doing the setting duties. Number six, Blanquis back for the, the serve for the Dragons. Returned by McCool, set up by Sanchez. Swing by Griggs, dug out by the Dragons. Another swing by the Dragons. Nice save by McCool, couldn't quite get to the second hitter. So point will go to the Dragons. Our score now 9-4 in favor of the Dragons. Blanquise back behind the service line again for the Dragons. Panthers have got to string some points together here. 
received by Griggs. Sanchez is going to set it up. Oh. On with a swing and a kill on the back of the court. You know, I really, I don't know if that uh, gentleman can see that line. No, that was, uh, that was out, Jeff. Because that was out also. But we, we'll, we'll take it. That's payback right there. So Panthers with a point. 9-5 lead still by the Dragons. Her title back behind the service line. Dug out by the Dragons, set up, swing by the Dragons. Nice dig by Sherhart. Griggs with a big hit. Returned by the Dragons. Sanchez set up. Uh, Little push over the net by Hahn. Free ball over from the Dragons. Sanchez is going to set it up again. This time for Griggs, and she tried to push it over the net. Re returned, by, returned by the Dragons with a big swing. A big swing by number eight, Letty, for the kill. Letty would also go behind the service line now to serve for the Dragons. Returned by McCool, set up. The set was right in too tight to the net where you couldn't quite get to the ball to get it over. So the point's going to go to the Dragons. Dragons will now take an 11-5 lead in set number three. Panthers are down two sets to zero, and Panther Volleyball will return right after these messages. This is MVBN from Medina Valley, broadcast Security State Bank has one simple goal, to be the best bank possible to the families and businesses of South Texas. We believe in superior customers, slash the community involvement, fair and honest business ethics, and loyalty. We've been in Casterville for a year now, and we've enjoyed growing with you. Come by 1726 Highway 90 East, or call us at 830-538-9898. A real person will answer, because that's how we do business, with common courtesy and uncommon service. Bank online at securitystbk.com. Security State Bank, South Texas. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Follow us on Twitter, at MV Broadnet. Tweet and retweet scores, schedules, and more. Tweet, at MV Broadnet, for MVBN. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. The Dragons and the Panthers coming out of the timeout. Panthers down 11-5 in the third set. Panthers are down two sets to zero. They need this, they need this set in a bad way. Letty will be behind the service line for the Dragons. She'll be serving after the timeout. Service on the way. Float serve returned by Hurtado across the net, set up by the Dragons. And a little tip that's going to fall to the floor. A lift by the Panthers. That's what the call is by the, the referee. Letty with the serve again now for Dragons. Received by Hahn. Set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Griggs. Received by the Dragons. Setting it up. Big hit, but into the net for a point for the Panthers. So a 12-6 lead by now, now by the Dragons. And that'll put behind the service line the libero, Christine Sherhart. Sherhart with the serve. Beautiful serve just over the net. Received, though, by the Dragons. Set up to the back row. Sanchez setting it up for the Panthers. Push by Gates. Set up again by the Panthers. Griggs is going for the swing. Nice kill by Griggs. The lefty hammers one down the, at the back of the court. Score now 12-7. Been waiting to say a hammer swing now by the Panthers, and we finally got one. They haven't hit the ball too hard today. Been struggling. Been struggling the, with the first, with the first uh, been series. Been struggling you know, with the kill. Just not getting the good passes, and then uh, the timing seems to be off. Sure, Hart with the serve. Brought back in by the Dragons. Free ball over the net. Received by Sure, Hart. Big swing. Big swing by Gates. Blocked by the front row of the Dragons. Brought back. Lands on the floor, so that's going to be a point for the Dragons. Score 13 to 7 in favor of the Dragons. Tell you what, that number uh, 16 for Southwest, she gets off the floor in a hurry. Find She's a got some leaping ability. 
were stuffed behind the line, service line for the Dragons. Received by Sherhart. Big swing by Griggs, which rolls off the tape, the tape, the top tape of the net, and falls in for the point. Point Panthers. 13-8 now our score. Rotation change. Sanchez out. DeWitt back in. Griggs is behind the service line. The lefty with the serve. Received by Dragons. They're going to set up. Set up by Griggs. There nice you. swing by Gates, but nice dig by the Dragons. Back over. Set up again by Griggs. Oh. That ball straight up in the air. Ain't going to make it. Yep. Four hits for the Panthers. Could not get that ball over the net. Looked like it was going to be a great setup, but we just couldn't get it over. Yeah, it looked like a communication problem there again. She was setting low, and Madison was taking a run at it to go high. So Martinez now behind the service line for the Dragons. Received by Schuhart again. Schuhart's done a great job receiving the balls in the back row for the Panthers. Panthers try to set it up. Madison Gates tried to push the ball over the net, but instead he went into the net. Tried to be sneaky with that one. Backfired on her. So now we have a score of 15 to 8 in favor of the Dragons. Returned by McCool. Set up by Griggs. Little push by McCool over the net. Dragons try to push it. Ball's back over by the Panthers. Dragons are setting it up. Cross court hit. Set up by the Panthers. Free ball back over the net. Another cross court hit by the Dragons. Pushed to the back row by Griggs. Dragons were there. Big swing by the Dragons. Nice receive by Hurtado. Set up for DeWitt. DeWitt with a swing. Received and dug out by the Dragons. Nice save by Schuhart. And that ball is going to be hit by the Dragons behind the back row for Point Panthers. Nice series of volleys by both teams right there. Panthers, however, get the point. Our score 15 to 9 in favor of the Dragons. Mahukul behind the service line. Received by the Dragons. Going to be set up with a push over the net. Went ready to that. Mahukul was there nice with a great save. save and dig. Set up by the Dragons. Free ball over the net. Sure, Hart setting it up for DeWitt. Tips it over. Dragons are waiting. Dragons are setting it up. They're going to give the free ball back over to the Panthers. McCool receives it. Griggs is set up. Big hammer swing go. by Madison Gates. That's exactly what the Panthers needed. We've been waiting for that one. Right through the defender's elbows. Right through the blocker's arms. They got a little piece of it. And it got shanked out towards the, the stands on the, summer, on the southwest side. McCool back to serve for the Panthers. Our score 15 to 10 in favor of Southwest. Spencer McCool with the serve. Floater to the back row. Set up by the Dragons. Backcourt swing. Received by McCool. Set up by Griggs. Pushed by Hannah Hurtado. I thought that was going to fall. It was a nice tip. Nice save by Griggs. Set up by Shrewhart. Nice hard swing by DeWitt, but it's received by the Dragons. Blocked nice by block. the Panthers. Nice block by the right side for the Panthers. I don't see the DeWitt or Gates. The Panthers will get the point. Panthers are slowly coming back on this set. Our score now 15 to 11. Panthers are slowly coming back. We'll take a timeout along with the teams right here, and Panther Volleyball will return after these messages. MVBN. Tondre Gwynn Funeral Home in Castroville, Texas has been providing funeral services to families in the Medina Valley and surrounding areas for many generations. Tondre Gwynn Funeral Home is proud to support the broadcast by the Medina Valley Broadcast Network for the athletes and students participating in this event. Go Panthers! Tondre Gwynn Funeral Home, Castroville, Texas. You may view obituaries at Tondre, T-O-N-D-R-E dash Gwynn, G-U-I-N-N dot com or visit the Facebook page of Tondre Gwynn Funeral Home to view funeral notices. M-V-B-N. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We're coming out of a Southwest timeout with the Panthers thrown together a handful of points to come get back them, get themselves back into this 
set. You know, Dwayne, it's nice to come out of a timeout, and I can hear you talking because the Southwest fans aren't being so yeah, loud. Yeah, it's you know? uh, it got quiet on their side, but, but they still have the lead, 15 to 11, though. When you know, our student section needs to get into this game a little bit more, they need to get loud and realize that we're four points down, and the girls need 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 that 12th man to, or the what do you call it, a seventh man in volleyball? Yeah, they need that seventh man to kind of pull them out of their funk. McCool back behind the service line, coming out of the timeout. Received by the Dragons. Dragons setting it up. Big swing by the Dragons. Nice dig by Shrewhart. Set up and a push, two-handed push over by McCool. Dragons setting it up. A tip ball. Nice dig by McCool. Set up by Griggs. Big swing. Uh, Big swing by, by DeWitt, but I don't see, understand what the call was. I think didn't they clear. called. Didn't clear the net. It didn't clear the net, so it's four hits then for the Panthers. Mm -hmm. So, Dragons will get the point, 16-11 lead. Chavez with the, with the serve, received by Sherhart. Griggs with the setup. Gates with the swing to the back row, received by the Dragons. Dragons setting it up for a back row swing. Sherhart receives it, set up, and one-handed one -handed tip by Hurtado falls in for the point for the Panthers. A little left-handed action there. Whatever works at this point. You know, it looks like the timing with uh, Griggs and Hurtado is off a little bit. The last couple of times that uh, Hannah has attacked, she's been a little late getting there or else the set hadn't been high enough. Hahn back in the game, switched out with the libero. Gates behind the service line with the serve. Set up by Dragons, the tip. Griggs could not get there in time. It's going to be point Dragons. So the Dragons pulling away again. 17-12 now is your score. Palestero's now again the, uh, behind the service line for the Dragons. Serve to the back row. Swing by Hurtado. It's going to be an unforced error into the net. 18-12 now your score, Dragon lead. Dwayne, this is that lineup in the first game, I believe, that, uh, no, it's not. It's a different lineup. Palestero's with the serve. To the back row, received by McCool. Set up by Griggs. Roll shot by Hahn. Set up by the by the Dragons. Just gonna get outside of Griggs and fall in. For the point for the Dragons. 19-12 now, your score. That was really uncharacteristic of uh, Cameron there. Uh, she just she was not, I don't think she was really expecting yeah, she was, that. She wasn't expecting it and kind of threw a chicken wing at it. Balistero still with a serve for the Dragons. Received by Hurtado, nice pass. Nice set, set there by Griggs. Swing by Hahn, received by the Dragons. Dragons are gonna do a roll shot to the back roll. A swing by Hurtado, saved by the Dragons and into the net. That was that timing there yeah. again. You see her, uh, Hannah and Cameron's timing is not, has not been quite right. right Point there. for the Panthers, 19-13 now your score. Gonna be a, a change out. Olivia Garza will now go behind the service line. They're gonna be using her for her serve now. She's in for DeWitt. Serve to the back row by Garza. Swing by the Dragons, but that ball's gonna be point. out. Point Panthers. Good so 19-14 is our score. We can't get within five. We've gotta get we gotta we gotta get a few more here. Garza, First at five spot. Garza behind the service line. Nice serve's gonna be short, but dug out by the Dragons. Big swing by the Dragons. Number 14 stout with a big swing. Point for the Dragons. Timing wasn't off there. She went straight down with that. Spike. Rotation change back out for the Panthers. Garza will come out. Sanchez will come back in. Number six. Blanquis now serving for the Dragons. Our score 20 to 14. Panthers got to put together some points again right here. Big serve into the net though. Hard serve by the Dragons. That ball goes into the net so that's going to be point Panthers. Wayne Southwest is trying to let us into the game. We have got to take advantage of their unforced mistakes now and try to get back in and get a little momentum going for ourselves. Hurtado for the serve now with a 20 to 15 deficit now for the Panthers. Served to the back row, set up by the Dragons. Big swing, but that ball's gonna be out. Point Panthers. There's Pan one, let's Panthers take one at a time. One inching at a time. back in, just one point at a time. Hurtado back behind the service line again for the Panthers. 2016 score.
Serve to the back row, set up by the Dragons. Push by the Dragons, try to tip it, but it goes into the net. We'll take their mistakes for points all day long. So our score now, 20 to 17. We're going into a Southwest timeout and Panther Volleyball will return after these messages. MVBA. Weather in South Texas is unpredictable. That's why our neighbors in Medina Valley trust Four Winds Air Conditioning and Heating for residential and commercial service. Four Winds provides maintenance, repairs, equipment upgrades, and heat load calculations for new construction design and installation. Four Winds offers financing on anything over $300. Family owned and operated since 2006. Four Winds Heating and Air Conditioning. Call 210-892-2925 or on the web at number 4windsacandheat.com. MVBN. Welcome back to Pan Panther Volleyball. Both teams coming out of the Southwest timeout. We are in set number three with the Panthers down two sets to zero and also down in this set 20 to 17. However, they're inching back into the game. They're only three down. Have Hurtado back behind the service line ready to serve again. Service to the back row. Set up by the Dragons with a tip. Panthers could not get to that tip, just barely cleared the net. Madeline Sanchez with a great effort trying to get to that ball, but just couldn't get there in time. Southwest is really taking advantage of something they've seen with Medina Valley. They've, they, they, they've had some really strong hits, but they've just been dinking and dunking us lately. Letty with the serve for the Dragons with the 21-17 lead. Received by McCool. Set up and a big swing by Hahn, but it's received by the Dragons. Nice dig. Sure are just a little bit late getting to that ball and it doesn't quite get to the net. So that's gonna be a point for the Dragons. So now with a 22-17 lead in the third set. Wayne, what was the score the last time we played them? Do you recall? No, they were close though. How many games? Ready with the serve. Oh, it was three to two, we won. Oh. Hahn with a big swing in the kill. Hammered it down to the back row and they could go. not Good return job. it. Good job, Megan Hahn. So Hahn comes out. Madison Gates goes back into the front row. Christine Sherhart will be behind the service line. Christine's done a great job as a libero to tonight. She's returned and received a lot of balls, lots of digs. However, her serve is going to go out. That's, that's, that's inside the back line. That's, that's going to be another right service error. So a score 23 to 18. That gets them to within two. First stuff now for the Dragons will be behind the service line. Rotation. A rotation mistake by the Dragons will give the Panthers the point. So rotation error by the Dragons. We'll turn the ball over. Panthers will get a point. Sanchez will come out with the rotation. DeWitt is back in. Griggs will be behind the service line. Now that's some of the stuff I would never try to even understand, Dwayne. They were moving before the serve. Ah. Griggs with a left-handed serve, received by the Dragons, going to be set up. Big swing, but blocked by the Panthers. Set up again on the opposite side. Sure Hart trying to dig that ball out, but it goes off her arms and into the bleachers on the opposite side. So now we have just not the set point, but we have match point for the Dragons. And uh, Southwest just made a substitution to get bigger on the front row. Martinez behind the line for match point. Serve received by Shearheart. Set up by Griggs. Gates with a big hammer kill. And we're still Off alive. Off the block and out of bounds. So the Panthers pick up a point, 24-19. We're still alive. McCool will go behind the service line. Can't have a mistake now. Well, no, we've got to be mistake er and error-free here. Got to be perfect. Spencer McCool with the serve. Serve will go to the back row. Received by the libero, just barely saved. We'll take those unforced, unforced errors. Yeah, unforced error by the Dragons. We'll get the Panthers another point. Absolutely. So they're going to make a nail-biter out of this third set, 24-21. In favor of the, of the Dragons, McCool still behind the service line. Cool with the serve to the back row. Received by the Dragons. That's to nobody. Oh, she just barely can't. got over the net. They had two of them over Set the net. Set up by Gates. Gates pushed it. Or received by net. Dragons. 
Big hit. Nice receipt dig by Schuhart. Return by the Panthers is out, and that's going to be long, and that's going to be the match. So Panthers fall to the Dragons, 25 to 21 in the third set, and they also fall in the match. So that's going to play big on the outcome of district. Panthers now fall to 9 and 2 in district play. And that's going to put, let's see what that, that brings. That brings Southwest and Medina Valley tied, does it not? Or has Southwest played? The uh, Southwest is 8-3. and three. They'll be 9-3, and three, and the Panthers will be 9-2. and two. So the Panthers still holding on to the second spot, but they still have Harden to play yet. So um, they've let's got go to ahead, finish let's strong. Let's go ahead and take a break, Dwayne, and we'll come back and wrap it up. Let's do that. We'll take a break. Panther volleyball return right after these messages. Here at Medina Valley Broadcast Network, we love all sports. We currently broadcast football, volleyball, basketball, softball, and baseball. We not only serve Medina Valley, we also can broadcast other schools in the area in multiple sports. If your business is interested in having us broadcast a single game or a season, and you want to be part of the action, contact Jeff Stivers at 830-931-4504 or email him at jeff at mvbn.net. Vibe Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vibe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at vibevipetexas.com and also pick up your Vibe magazine today. Get in the game with Vibe Media. Visit mvbn.net for great articles on all your favorite coaches, players, and more at mvbn.net, the official website of the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball on the Medina Valley Broadcast Network, hosted by KMAC Sports. Jeff, I think the bottom line here is that Southwest came to play, and I don't think Medina Valley was expecting <laughs> that from them. And you know, Dwayne, the odd thing about it is the way the first match started out, you wouldn't have thought that was. The no. Panthers went up 10-1. to 1. Hey, And they and thought and they were going to roll. I almost made a comment that, you know what, we are sure playing well going into that big match Tuesday at Harlan. And boy, Dwayne, as soon as I thought that, it – the tides turned, Southwest crawled back into it, and they just executed better tonight. They did. They did execute a lot better. We had a lot of errors. They had, they had some errors too, but they just took advantage of everything that we did that, that was not good. Um, they, they, they really played well. They, they swung and hit the ball a whole lot better than we did today. Yes, we, had, did. we had some unforced errors that, if you know, you add them up, it, it, it came to a lot of points. So... You know, the, the Panthers need to group back together. Uh, they got some tough district matches coming up. They have Harlan and Southside um, and Floresville. They're all vying for those last positions. They still got to play them. They're going to be hungry. They're going to want to make the playoffs as other teams. So we've got to come, come back together. Um, so, you yeah. Know, the, 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 good, the good thing is that now you've got a couple of days to take a break. Think about it. Gather your thoughts again. And come back and ready to go Monday and have that big match. Still, it's still a huge match. Yep. Well, they Tuesday got at Harlan. But Dwayne, the bad thing is, you've got a couple of days to think about it. So it kind of eats at you when yeah. you lose a match like this. That you know you really, you know, was it a case that we were looking ahead to Tuesday? Well, you know, and either way, I think Coach Griggs needs to be in that locker room telling him you need to forget about this and put this behind you and start worrying about the next ones because we've got to go. And we've got to roll from absolutely. here on out. The thing is, you don't control your own destiny now. You know, you've got to you've got to have somebody else beat Harlan to to be able to at least tie them for a district title. For district title. Um, so you know, you don't control your own destiny in that aspect. But as far as making the playoffs, you still are in control of your own. Oh destiny. yeah, we're in control. And of I our think Dwayne, would it have been nice to win the district title? Absolutely. Oh, after but after the last after couple last of years. couple of years, I think a goal. Probably, and the girls had said this before, a goal should be set that we're just going to get into the playoffs. And I think, you know, they still have a great opportunity to make the playoffs and, and make a run in the playoffs. You know, they're going to they're gonna get healthy too, Dwayne. Well, they are, gonna get, they are going to get healthy. And, and, you know, rumor has it that one of our, our big front people, 
Kyla Solis will be back for, for the, ne the next game or the game after that. And that's going to make a huge difference because just her presence at 6'2 or whatever she is at the net is going to make a big difference. Just, just, just the presence. Megan Hahn, I, I know she's coming off a lower leg injury, and, and she may not have been 100% tonight. So, you know, the, 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 I, think, I think they do a complete turnaround and, um, uh, for next week, and I hope we can come out with a couple of big district wins by the end of next week. Absolutely. Go ahead, and you can wrap it up, Dwayne. Um. Well, yeah, Panthers fall three sets to zero against the Southwest Dragons. We're not expecting that, but that's the outcome. That's why you got to play them. Um, we will say that we will be back next Tuesday. We'll be broadcasting from the Harlan Gym for a, a big district matchup between Harlan and Medina Valley. So that will come to you at 6 p.m., um, kind of the same thing today whenever the JV finishes and where they, we get going, which if it's not at 6, it'll be shortly afterwards. And then uh, we'll have um, Panther Volleyball on Tuesday, I believe, and then we'll have Panther Football on Friday, Jeff. Is that uh, correct? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, Dwayne, we're going to have to talk about what we're going to do about our future uh, uh, broadcast here because we're going to have Wednesday night sub-varsity football game. So a lot of the coaches are going to be involved in that. And so we're not real clear if we're going to be able to have. What I'd like to do is do a remote from the location where the uh, here at the Panther Stadium on Wednesday night. So we'll talk about that a little bit this coming week, and I'll, you know, stay pay attention to our uh, Twitter feed and our Facebook feed, and, um, you know, we'll let everybody know. But, uh, you know, the thing is they play, sub-varsities play on Wednesday nights uh, when we play Memorial and Kennedy, and our varsity plays on Thursday nights. So uh, kind of eats into our time yeah. that we can actually do the uh, program. I think we'd still like to be able to do the program, so we may have a little – Maybe a shortened version of uh, of the program uh, here from Panther Stadium, and I'll I'll talk to Coach Sosa about it, and we'll visit with him a little bit and see what he thinks as well, and we'll let y'all know early in the week what we plan on doing. Well, I'm Dwayne Garza for Jeff Stivers, coming to you from the Panther Gym. We want to say good night and God bless, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>